Hi everybody, it's Thomas here from Thomas Fitzgerald Photography and today I have a quick Lightroom tutorial for Fuji shooters. So one of the things that people love about their Fuji cameras is the film simulation profiles. So if you shoot RAW and you're in Lightroom you have access to all the film simulation profiles and all you have to do is click on the browser window here and you can select all your film simulation profiles. But what if you want to customize them? So I know, for example, lots of people tweak different settings in their camera and whatnot. So what if you want to do something similar in Lightroom and you want to customize the film simulation profiles um, for your own taste? So the obvious thing is you can create a preset, but let us take that a little bit further and create kind of our own profiles. So for example, take this image here. I want to create kind of like a film like look and so the obvious answer would be to go with classic neg um, but to be honest i don't really like classic neg i think it's a bit too contrasty and it also kind of tints the image a bit weird but it is an interesting starting point so let me start with this i'm going to tweak it and then i'm going to create my own version of classic neg so what we want to do is we want to kind of tweak the color we want to stay away from touching the exposure and stuff like that and we want to kind of stick with using the color tools. Um, it doesn't really matter if you do otherwise because the process we're going to do will work anyway, but to make this work as kind of a generic tool, you kind of want to stay away from uh, adjusting exposure and stuff like that. So I'm just going to tweak using the color grading and the color tools. So what I want to do is I'm going to add a little bit of green to the shadows and I'm going to warm up the midtone slightly. And then there's kind of a pinkish orange um, hue to the highlights in um, Classic Night and I want to compensate for that slightly so maybe just slightly more towards the blue and again tweak this a bit more and I'm going to bring up the mid-tones a little um, and that's almost there but what I want to do is I'm going to give it a bit more saturation in the blues and maybe just a little bit in the oranges and then maybe we might tweak the tone curve slightly as well so something like that because we want kind of like a bright film look okay so that's pretty good um and we're going to go with that what we can do is actually save all these edits as a profile so to do that we actually have to hop over into photoshop so what we want to do now is edit in, and we, this is very important that you use open a smart object in Photoshop. And you'll see why in a second. So now we have our image in Photoshop. And what I want to do is if I double click on this, this should open this in camera raw, as you see we have here. And now we want to save this as a profile. So we move down to presets and holding down the alt key or the option key in a Mac and click on this. It gives us the option to create a profile. You can't do this from within Lightroom. You have to do this in Photoshop. And we want to save this as filmy. <laughs> you can call it whatever you want. You can call it something much better than this. And all the default settings I think should be fine. Everything else should be fine. Click okay so get out of that you don't actually have to save this image um, i'm just going to get done save so i'm going to jump back over to lightroom and this is important you need to quit and relaunch lightroom okay and now i'm going to reset this so we're back to where we started and if i go in here now and down to user, user profiles, we have classic neg filmy, close. And as you can see, that's exactly the same as the one we created, but now all our settings are back to zero and we can edit this as if it was just another profile. And if you want, if I go in here, I can click on the star on this and it will now pop up in our favorites. So that's pretty much it. That's how you can customize um, your Fuji film simulation profiles with inside of Lightroom. I know it's a little bit rounded, long-winded, and in most cases, you're probably fine with just a preset, but if you want to kind of take that a little bit further, this is how you do it. Okay, I hope you have found this useful. If you do, please like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. See you next time.